In this video we will understand what is asteroid, what is meteorite, why we see shooting star at night, when day will not remain 24 hours for us, and know about the meteorite which end dinosaurs from Earth, effect on Earth from meteorite, why Venus and Mercury don't have their own natural satellite, and why Venus is hottest planet in the solar system despite Mercury being closer to Sun. So let's start in our solar system, the most closest planet to Sun, is Mercury, after that is Venus, third is Earth, fourth is Mars and fifth is Jupiter. In between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter, there are a lot of asteroids. These asteroids too revolve around the Sun. The asteroids is kept in proper line, by the Jupiter gravitational pull. But the asteroids which are little away from Jupiter, sometimes collides with each other which results in change of the direction, some of this asteroids then, attracted by Mars gravity, but after attracting the asteroid. Mars naturally moves upwards in its orbit, as it moves very fast. And the asteroids sometimes fall on Earth because Earth is on the third place after Mars. After the asteroid falling on Earth, without burning completely, we call it a meteorite. If fall on any person it can kill. It almost fall every day. To have protection from it we have a thick atmosphere of 640 kilometers. If this atmosphere is not present we all have been dead. When any asteroid enters our atmosphere, it faces so much pressure in our atmosphere, that it starts burning, and its temperature reaches 1500 degrees Celsius. And most of this asteroids burns completely, before reaching us. But in some cases, when the size of asteroid is big, it falls on our Earth's surface without completely burning. We call this a meteorite. In a scene, when many of these asteroids fall together, one after another we call it a light shower. In light shower we can observe a high amount of brightness in sky because of the burning of these asteroids in atmosphere. It happened in August 2017. When the asteroid enter in atmosphere, while burning we called it a shooting star. In a shooting star the asteroid is completely burned in the atmosphere. Now we will know how dinosaur extent. Dinosaurs have extent, 66 million years ago. After their long reign of 180 million years. When a asteroid named Chicxulub, struck our Earth. Chicxulub was a huge asteroid, it had fallen near present day Mexico. When this asteroid struck Earth's atmosphere, some extent of it is burned, but still it's so huge to be burned completely, the blast of the asteroid is same of 20 hydrogen bomb. Some portion of the asteroid breaks in small particles and spill above, but when it again comes because of gravitational pull of Earth, it kills all the flying dinosaur of the region. The surface temperature of that area, reaches 200 degrees Celsius which killed other surviving animals of that region. But it's just the trailer of destruction. After, this huge blast, a mega earthquake that released about 100 billion trillion joules, of energy, or about 50,000 times more energy than was released in the Sumatra earthquake, in 2004, which measured a magnitude 9.1 on the Richter scale. Comes on the other side of Earth, it is also the largest earthquake, that hit Earth in recorded history. Because of these earthquake major big animals died. When earthquake comes near sea, it forms tsunami. The tsunami brings all the water from the sea, to land killing the other animals and dinosaur. The volcanoes of the earth, too get activated and started to give rise to poisonous gases and radiation. When this asteroid struck in Mexico Yucatan Plateau, there was a huge movement in the tectonic plate of earth, which give rise to a mountain in southeast of Africa, mountain Kilimanjaro and also some rift valleys. The formation of this mountains affect Earth's structural anatomy. The Earth moves from west to east, that's why most monsoon clouds came from same direction. The formation of these mountains stop the monsoon clouds from reaching west part of African continent, which gradually leads to shortage of rain and with lack of rain in these areas. World largest desert Sahara was formed. There were a lot of monkeys living there in west part of Africa, but when West African area, start getting dry and there was food shortage, they started to move to different places in search of food, and all know that humans ancestors was monkey, so from them present day humans come to existence, so Africa is also known as cradle of mankind. Coming back to asteroid, it had already wiped dinosaur out of existence. But, now we will understand how it affects other planet too. 
The asteroid is present between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter, have two direction of coming towards Earth. The Earth moves from west to east direction, if the asteroid is coming in moving direction of Earth, we will call it a meteor. They come at a speed of, 72 km per second, in Earth's atmosphere and start burning. Same type of asteroid which had come in opposite moving direction of Earth, is called a belite. Belite comes at a speed of 12 km per second. Belite looks more brighter than a meteor. When a meteor falls on Earth's surface without burning completely we call it meteorite, but when belite falls on Earth's surface without completely burning, we call it a tektite. The hole made by falling of any of these on Earth's surface is called a crater. When this crater get filled by water we call it a crater lake. For example there is a crater named Barringer Crater, in Arizona United States. Now we will know about the effects, when a meteor or meteorite falls on Earth. The first is red rain, when the asteroid comes, it starts burning in Earth's atmosphere, and the ash produced from it is red as it comes from near Mars. When it slowly falls in Earth we call it red rain. Do not confuse it with acid rain and blood rain, acid rain occurs because of pollution in air, the pH level of normal rain is 7 and when it downs to 5.5 pH we call it acid rain. Blood rain occurs in Italy, in this scenario rain and sand from Sahara Desert, fall on Italy. Looking from distance feels like red water is falling so from here it got the name of, blood rain. The red rain results in global warming as when asteroid enters it burns and burning increases temperature so global warming. The mass of Earth gets increased when the ash of this burning asteroid falls on Earth. So, more the mass of Earth will increase more its gravitational pull will increase. The rotational speed of Earth will decrease too as it gets extra mass from these asteroids falling on it, it is discovered that 900 million years back there was 18 hours day. As the Earth moves fast, but due to the extra mass and weight added to Earth by this falling asteroid, day now is of 24 hours. And in future, that is more 900 million years, the day on Earth will be of 30 hours as Earth will move more slowly because of these extra loads by falling asteroid. Next is tilt. As you know our Earth is tilted to 23.5 degrees but some million years back it tilt was just 21 degree and after more million years after, its tilt would be 24 degree, because the mass of Earth is increasing because of this continued fall of asteroid on its surface. Now we will understand why Venus and Mercury don't have their own natural satellite, and why Venus is hottest planet in the solar system despite Mercury being closer to Sun. It is procrastinated that, once Venus and Mercury have their own natural satellites, but those are very small in size, as you know, that Sun had a gravitational pull which attract asteroid to it. So it is believed that, the natural satellite, of Venus and Mercury being closer to Sun, and smaller size had attracted to the gravitational pull of Sun, and falling on sunlets to their extent. So now Mercury and Venus had no satellite of their own. Adding more to this topic, Mercury had the most crater on its surface, than any other planet, in the solar system because it does not have any atmosphere on it, and asteroid falls on it uninterrupted. The crater on Mercury formed because of falling asteroid, makes sunlight less reachable to its surface, so Mercury became the less visible planet to us when we see it through a telescope. Venus the planet second to Mercury but is more hotter than Mercury, because it had atmosphere on it of harmful gases such as carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide, which traps the sun heat in Venus, and makes it the hottest planet in the solar system. The surface temperature of Venus is almost 900 degrees Celsius. The high temperature of Venus makes it the most bright and beautiful object to observe in night sky, whereas Mercury don't have any atmosphere on it, so it doesn't trap any heat from the sun, so being most closer to sun it's not the hottest. Now let's know why our moon has so much crater on it. The crater on the moon is also because of falling asteroid on it. Since there is no atmosphere on moon the asteroids fall on it uninterrupted, so it had lots of crater now. Because of this craters you can see, some part of moon, during a full moon night looks unclear. As, in this crater sunlight falls less and make us look a faint moon in some area. Most of the time satellite lose contact on moon, because of falling on this craters. Thanks for watching make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for notifications.